Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you why I think AMD is a strong buy. Now, AMD, for all of you that don't know, is Advanced Micro Devices, Inc., and they engage in the provisions of semiconductor businesses. Um, they operate through um, computing and graphics and enterprise embedded in semi-custom segments. Basically, they make computer chips and other various devices. As you can see, they're up 25% in one month on their growth, and they're up 31% in the year. Now, I believe this is a strong buy because of several different factors. So let's go ahead and get into it right away. Now, this is a very large company. It's been established since 1969. They're headquartered in Santa Clara, California. Their PE ratio is a bit high for what I like, but it is fair at about a 59 their employees, or they employ over nine, almost 9,000 employees. Now, they have a market cap of $18 billion, which is just amazing. They have a lot of money to work with. And their average volume right now is around $58 million. So it's a very popular stock to trade. They're under uh, the collections of manufacturing, a female CEO, for all of you that didn't know that. Technology, top movers, electronics, most popular under $25, and also 100 most popular. So that right off the bat would give me a good signal to want to buy. Very popular stock. Um, they're 40% higher right now than the average price, so it's a little bit more expensive to buy it right now. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to really come back down that far. So... I would try to get in as soon as possible, and if it does dip, average down. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, especially when you're going to be holding it long term. Now, 39% uh, of the 33 rating are saying to buy. Another 42% is saying to hold. Um, you know, not too bad. Uh, buy summary says AMD's GPUs are highly sought out after cryptocurrency mining, so that could be a plus. And on the sell side, it's saying AMD chips are behind Intel's processors in process technology. Um, you know, again, just two different comments from the same um, analyst, Morningstar. Their estimate, their actual earnings was a penny more than their estimated earnings, and they have been basically um, having a actual earnings report better than the estimated report pretty much every single quarter the last year so this company has a lot of room to grow uh, it's a great company to get involved with another reason why I think AMD is a strong buy um, I go to the street to get a lot of ratings and reviews this one was done on July 29th so literally two days ago um, their buy right now is at a B minus. So this is a B minus. Uh, I wouldn't classify it as even an A plus to buy. But again, a B minus ain't bad. Good strong buy to get into. I do believe it's a strong buy. Their target price for the one year mark looks like it's at twenty one dollars and nineteen cents. That's great because right now, guys, it's only trading at $18 and 55 cents. So there's still a lot of room to grow this next year. Um, some of the highlights for AMD is um, very impressive value growth, exceeding the industry's average um, of 19.2%. Since the same quarter, 1D1 year prior, Revenues leaped by 52%, guys. That's amazing. Growth in the company's revenues appear to have helped boost the earnings per share. So that's why we we're able to have that extra penny per share. Um, they also, uh, during the past fiscal year, it turned to the bottom line around about earning five cents versus about a negative 62 cents in the prior year. So they actually have positive returns now. This year, the market expects an improvement in earnings. Um, to about 47 cents versus the nickel so not too bad um, great strong company to get involved with the net income increased by 376 percent from the prior same quarter one year ago rising from negative 42 million to a positive 116 million so they are rolling in the money finally their net operating cost has increased from a negative 45 million or 45 percent 
when compared to the same quarter last year, their firm also succeeded the industry's average cash flow growth of 2.47%, guys. So this is a nice, strong company to get involved with. Um, they're over here on the timeline as far as revenue growth. They're up 37.62%. Um, as far as revenue growth, they're also up here. Um, so they're, you know, it's not bad. They're, they are a really strong company. Doesn't seem like anyone's really up there with them uh, in this little bracket here. Their market cap's high. They got a good PE ratio. They got a huge sales um, in the millions of dollars amount. And then their net income, of course, $329 million of net income so guys i really strongly believe this is a great company to get involved with amd has been around for a long time and they're not going anywhere all the information here on the side talks about the description a lot of the different things and processors that they use i remember amd athens and i remember all those different amd processors that i used to get back in the day Heck, my computer probably has some of those AMD processors on it right now. They got a 4 out of 5 on growth. They got a 5 out of 5 on total return. They got a 2.5 star out of 5 star for efficiency. They got a 3 out of 5 star for price volatility. A 1 out of 5 for solvency, which isn't too bad. And a 0.5 out of 5 for income. And that's just because it doesn't seem like they pay a dividend. So, guys... This is a very strong buy for me. I do like AMD. I don't believe they're going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, there's a lot of other companies that are similar and competing. Uh, NVIDIA, Intel, Micron Technologies. But guys, again, all these companies have their own specific um, positives and negatives, pros and cons. So just do your research and really know uh, what it is that you want to do with investing. If you want to invest long term with AMD, great. If you want to pick up a dividend, then maybe AMD isn't for you. You might want to look at a different company to get a dividend. So, you know, I hope you guys like this video. That's my thoughts on AMD. I had a couple of subscribers asking me to make a video on AMD. And so if you liked it, please smash the like button. Leave a comment below just saying that you liked the video or you ask me any questions if you want to ask. And um, you could always leave me suggestions. If you have a stock out there you want me to take a look at, by all means, let me know and I'll do a video just like this on the stock of your choice. All right. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. You guys have a great day.